In this After Effects tutorial, we will learn how to create a YouTube channel intro inside of After Effects without using any plugins. This can be a perfect fit for your YouTube channel intro and look super cool and super professional. So without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Now before we begin with this tutorial, I would like to take a minute and introduce you guys to my very own Gaze Graphics Pack which contains over 2000 plus ready to use animations. Plus it comes with Animation Studio which is a free extension for After Effects making the pack super easy to use. The pack contains 18 different animation categories and 250 plus sound effects making it all in one graphics pack. Right now you can purchase this pack for just 29 bucks that is flat 40% off its original price. This is a limited time offer so make sure you grab it. To know more about this pack check out the link in the description below. With that said let's get back to After Effects and get started. Alright guys here we are in After Effects so let's start off by creating a new composition just like we always like to do so call this main as this is gonna be our main com 1920 into 1080 30 fps let's make the composition black for now okay so here we have our comp so i'll be using the youtube logo it is a simple png that i downloaded from the internet i'll mention the link into the description and by the way you can download the complete project file absolutely free from the link into the description which will contain all the assets of this um, you know tutorial or this project so here we have our logo let's hit s to bring down the scale properties and bring that down by 40 percent and now we need to separate the u and the tube so i'll select the rectangular tool and simply create a mask oh make sure the layer is selected and simply create a mask just like that so there we go let's rename this to you okay and hit ctrl d to duplicate it call this tube okay let's hit m and invert the shape or the mask so now we have tube in a different section and U into a different section and this is very important because now we need to animate those things. Let's select the tube layer, hit ctrl D to duplicate it, call this matte and you can give it a different colors just so you know so you can just identify it more easily. So there we have our logo. Now let's create a new composition for our video where we can drag and drop in any video that we want to use. I'm going to hit OK with the same properties. I'm just going to go ahead and copy the same video that I have. So hit Ctrl C. You can of course use any video that you want. Ctrl V. So here we have our video. Let's go back into the main composition and I'm going to drag and drop in my video composition below the mat. And for now, I'm just going to hide the tube and the U, that is the YouTube logo, and we just need the mat for now. Let's go into fix and preset and type in fill. Okay, let's double click and I'll give it a nice white color. Then let's select the video comp and hit F4 so we can see the track mat option and change this to alpha mat. Now, if I select the mat, you can see also, let's pretty quickly turn on the title action safe. We need to center this up. So now what I want to do is I want to move this mat into the center. But most importantly, if I just hide this and let's bring this up, we need to move the anchor point into the center. So I'm going to select the pan behind tool and just going to hold shift and drag the anchor point and try to eyeball the center just like that. Okay. Let's turn that off and turn on the fill. Doesn't We don't even need to add the fill actually. It's going to use just the track mat option. Okay, so let's go to two singles actually and move this into the center just like so. Alright, and then hit S to bring down the scale properties. Create a keyframe on the scale. I'll go to one second and let's scale this up really big. Just like so. Alright, 
so now we have a very nice and simple animation let's select the keyframes and i'm going to use a free script that is the keyframe wingman to adjust the curves i'll mention the link into the description below if you don't want to use the script all you have to do is select this hit f9 to easy ease the keyframes go into the graph editor and create a peak just like that so you get a really nice animation but to save some time and make the workflow more simple you can select the points and really easily tweak this from right over here so i'm going to set this to around let's go with 75 percent and there we go make sure to apply that okay so there you go now what i'm going to do is let's go right here select the video as well hit s create a keyframe move that keyframe at the very beginning and scale this down just like that maybe this pick select this hit you know select the hit on this icon to add the same animation and now we should have something like that but you can see we get this kind of a weird edges at the edge of the video so what i can do is i can just move this keyframes a bit forward in time so gonna get rid of that as you can see there we go looking pretty sweet so i'll go right over here let's turn on the tube so we can see the position of that and now what i can i can do is select the video and the matte layer hit p to bring down the position create a keyframe go to around three seconds and let's move them right over here so now we have something like this but now what i'm going to do is bring that tube layer on the top okay let's select this mat hit ctrl d to duplicate it put this on the top of the tube and change the tube track mat to alpha mat so i can select the tube hit p create a keyframe on the position go back and let's move this out just like so again i can select all the keyframes and apply the same animation so you can see we are saving a lot of time here using the free keyframe wingman script very very useful now we can get a bit of anti-aliasing issues so to fix that i can simply add a mat choker on this one so i'm going to select this mat go into the effects and preset and add simple choker apply that up with choke mat value of two and that should fix it pretty nice and then i can turn on the u section of this select this hit p create a keyframe go back and move this right over here again apply the same animation and there you go pretty simple and easy to use maybe i'll increase the duration a bit the timing is not matching up properly so i can hit ctrl a and hit u so we need to move this keyframe as well and apply the same animation there you go let's preview the complete animation oh i forgot to hide this one so let's hit ctrl a ctrl u so we can hide all the keyframes and what i need to do is crop this tube layer so hold alt and open square bracket same for the u as well so hold alt and open square bracket okay so that is actually looking pretty good so let's hit ctrl k and make the background white because i think it looks much better on the white background also i can add a nice fill to the u section of the logo and make this a nice black so there you have your really cool and nice looking logo animation way which you can use to showcase your channel videos and whatnot also pretty quickly you can also add a nice text so let's add a tagline it can be anything that you want to use so i'm going to use this one that is the broadcast yourself let's align this into the center place it right over here and i'll go somewhere around maybe there select the text layer hit p to create a keyframe on the position and hit t to bring down the opacity and create a keyframe on the opacity then hit u so we can see just the keyframes move actually go back right over here move this a bit to the bottom and 
Bring down the opacity to zero, select the keyframes and apply the same animation. So you have a nice text as well. You can of course use a channel name that you have and you know play around with it and there you go. Really simple and easy to create YouTube logo animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. So I hope this tutorial was helpful to you guys and if it was then make sure to subscribe, comment and like and I will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw, stay creative and also make sure to follow me on Instagram at dope.motions. Peace out.